Dr. JD shows us how to improve our brains in just five minutes. The Galloping Gourmet, plus actor Richard DeClerc. Uh, he has come to the world of gardening, and uh, he has ah. come to it with a fervor. Graham Kerr joining us, <laughs> chef, TV host, and author, and gardener now as Hello. well. Oh, thank you. I love having that. Are your nice. galloping gourmet days behind you? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes that's a shadow that stretches all the way back into the sand dune. <laughs> you know? Let's talk about gardening in your life, because you have this beautiful intro to the book where you talk about uh, spending an entire career as the last man on this relay from a garden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's a beautiful way to put it. So what was the, the sort of bring around for you to get you into the garden? I had to slow down. I think, you know, galloping and the gardening thing is, is the worst, you know. They don't work. No. They're the oxymoron of oxymorons. <laughs> so, and I wanted to slow down. I, I just wanted to savor life. I didn't want to retire, but I wanted to savor it. And um, for my beloved wife, and Trina, our producer, um, she had had a stroke and a heart attack and diabetes and hypertension. All these things were genetically predisposed. Plus, our galloping gourmet really didn't. It wasn't, I was wasn't watching the best some idea. old right. episodes right. last yes. night, and really. it almost gave me high cholesterol <laughs> just watching. But wow, how you've well, changed! I, I used to think of life as a dotted line around the neck, and you would, <laughs> and people people were dotted line upwards, and, and someone would yeah. take care of the rest. Anyway, but so here book, she is. It, so, I, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, so uh, the best thing that I can do for her is to move into fruits and vegetables, plant life that she loves. Not as a vegetarian, but I need to take risk factors and reduce them and then enhance the food with great live food, as live as it can possibly be. And it's the liveliest places in your backyard. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's start with arugula, because that's okay. what we're talking about today. Sure. Absolutely. And maybe tell us how the book works. Yeah, it's a brilliant idea. So many people get perplexed when it comes to gardening and what you're supposed to do and how you care for things. But I, tell us how you simplified it. I was completely blown away by this. I thought I could not do it. I've never met a plant I couldn't kill. <laughs> I mean, truly, I mean, apart from mint and bamboo <laughs> right. and horseradish. Which so, will live anywhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So um, what I did is I went to friends and I said, I want to do this. I want to dig up my yard. Will you help? And they really helped me. I have gracious people at gardeners. So they came and they told me information. Now, I spent two years on this book. And I went from gracious people to books, backwards and forwards, and then application in my own backyard. And this is brilliant because you've got everything that takes multiple pages in a gardening book, yeah. and you've really whittled it down to one page form. that's yes. really applicable to what you need to know when you're planting something. I in your needed garden. to know stuff I couldn't get too involved. Right. Um, and, and, and gardeners are great involved people. They can go on forever about all the little rhizomes and everything else. And this was leaving me for dead. I said, look, I just want to succeed in year one, enough so that I'm right. enthusiastic. If Maybe right. have a salad. I want to be able yes. to grow my arugula and eat <laughs> yes. it that year. OK, so arugula. Let me show you what I've done here. Okay. And this is all in the book anyway. There is something that goes on in our culture today, which is if anyone gives you a recipe and, uh, and wants you to do something, thank you, Dan. She's got the nails. Thank, thank you. Yeah. I, I, do, I do need help now. <laughs> um, they, 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 they then say to you, ah, oh, but it takes too long. Yeah. Now, this particular process takes 26 seconds. All right. <laughs> with, with your, and I have timed it time Count and time them. again. That's it. This is how you make yogurt cheese. You then take that and you put that away in a fridge and it drops, it drips overnight. Yeah. And after it's dripped overnight, thank you so much. You're um, welcome. It looks like this. You can actually, it, it is really That's just solid. leaving it in the fridge overnight, 1% yogurt. Exactly. Now, people then say, overnight, 12 hours dripping. And you, if you need to get in the fridge and watch it drip, <laughs> then that's going to take up your time. But I did that on a show once. I cleaned the fridge out. I got, I got in the it. fridge with this thing. Of course you there. did. <laughs> Try and put the point. Anyway, so by you, what you get out of that, usually it's a little pale green, but I don't know. This is Canadian yogurt. Um, so th this is this is whey. Oh, W-H-E-Y. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is pure protein. It's very good protein. Are you going to so, drink it? 
Not, no, it's actually quite disgusting. Um, <laughs> but, but it's fear of if, if you drizzle it into a lovely pungent soup, you will <laughs> yeah. never know it's okay. there. But <laughs> you will grow mom. muscles. <laughs> right. So we're left here with... Okay, so th that's it. Now what I'm going to do with this no. is just turn that out. Oh. And you see how nicely it's standing. <laughs> this is why Graham I... Graham got himself. But this, this, this is why... This is why I wear black Sir. slacks, right. so that it will stand out. And Trina's, Trina's just looking at you going, oh, my husband. Oh, That's yeah. fine. <laughs> okay, so, so now what? So, okay, so that is yogurt cheese. Can yes. we dispose of that? Yeah. Yes, please. Now, this thing here that I've got here is goat cheese. Yes. Now, this is high saturated fat goat cheese. Now, if I put that onto there, I have now immediately re just change that goat cheese by mixing it up like that. I've now made a mixture of goat cheese and that yogurt. Now the yogurt is fat free. Yeah. All right. Now I now reduce the fat content of that. The, and now but if you, you get do the flavor this, and the consistency. Yeah. And the, now if you do this over a whole year, you can reduce calories by forty thousand a year. Wow. In saturated fat. That's amazing. We, and it really is. Now let me give you a quick thing that you can do okay. with this one. Okay. Okay. So we'll take here. Um, um, uh, th this is a, a whole a whole wheat <laughs> tortilla. Slather it on as though you were doing speckling or something. Right. On the, <laughs> a little um, drywalling. Yeah, exactly. Now, well, here good. is the arugula. So I'm going to place the arugula over the top. I'm going to put a little of this seasoning. Now this I is tried magic. This. Yes. Uh, you can go to Graham's website to find out more info on it. It is a delicious combo that I never would have thought of. You've got star anise, dill, and, and hot peppers. Ho and hot peppers. That in combination says something about our Pacific Rim. Mm -hmm. That's where we live. And this That's is for right. Cascadia. The whole of the Pacific Northwest, I think this is an acceptable flavor. Try it, Mike. To add. Well, I just wanted it's to smell it because it has just such a beautiful nose to it as well. And yeah. you've got your beautiful arugula in there, and you're just rolling it up. You, you just roll it up now. Now. Now what do you need? <laughs> knife. I saw knife. a knife somewhere. That's okay. We have a knife. It's coming straight up. And, and this is called bash and chop anyway, so I used to be able to do this with this. Are but, you going to give uh, it a shot to uh, it? Oh, oh yeah. We can get a knife. There we go. There Don't we throw go. it. Thank you, sir. Isn't this marvelous? I just <laughs> there we go. This Thank is you. the way we do TV, TV shows hasn't too. Changed. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We should just light a candle and have a bite, <laughs> just for old times' sake. Just for old. All right. Well, we 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 know what. Oh, so they're little what, we, we know what they look like. So please, just have a piece. I will. And then, Absolutely. And, then, and let me see what. Whether you like Cheers. it or not. This oh. is exactly in keeping with the life work of Graham Kerr. It is a beautiful book filled with love and affection for food, all the way from the garden to your table. Every chapter and every section has something you can grow and then how you can incorporate absolute it into your Graham. diet to make An your world better pleasure. and more delicious. Of course, if you want to meet Graham, you certainly can. He's going to be uh, at Eat Vancouver, Thank the you big for food and cooking festival being held Friday through Sunday. You can go to the website mm. to find Graham's schedule. And if you want to pick up Graham's new book, Growing at the Speed of Life, it is available at your local bookstore. We're going to take a quick break. When we return, We'll be talking about a fantastic film delicious. called Repeaters. Thank you, Grant. Thank you Pleasure. very much. Thank you. Just lovely. Thank you.